Yo, Shaheem, what's up, Jeeves? Oh, what's the oh first of all, that's the flunky's flowers right there. I put nails in it, hung it on my wall. Hell yeah, man. That's what's up, man. Well, listen, real quick, right? First what's and up, foremost, Shaheem? first and foremost, um, until I went to message you is the first time I seen that you had hit me back in 2021, right? First and foremost, I watched the show because I'm a fan of AR Ab and all them guys out of Philly. So I was aware who were you who you were. I but appreciate that, G. I didn't um I didn't ignore you. I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? For one, you know what I'm saying? And two, it is a business, right? So two, I look at content and streaming and monetization and all that a different way, you know what I'm saying? Respectfully. So if it wasn't done in a respectful manner by hitting me up by our official manager to conduct regular business, you can't say you really reached out to me. It wasn't by email. It was by DM that I wasn't even following you. So that goes into a whole nother request that if Facts. you don't look, you don't see. So Facts. that's first, right? But with all due fairness, right, I don't think it's fair to throw me or Nori into anything after we went through what we went through. Because that wasn't just internet. You know what I'm saying? That could have went very bad because we all have past histories. You know what I'm saying? And I just felt that that was a little distasteful because of whatever you and another grown man had issues, right? Regardless if I work with him, that's like me saying, yo, Forget your podcast, forget Mike E.T. because you interview a rapper that I don't like or I have a disagreement with, right? That would be exactly. fair for me to call you out your name or refer to you as whatever someone else was. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said, yo, respectfully, G, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, uh, I don't I don't play. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no time to play, G. And that's, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what the hell's going on with you and Hood. I ain't know what the hell went on with D-Block and Hood. I was in prison. I wasn't D-Block. I'm Wu-Tang. You know what I'm saying? Me and Hood, yo, he's a talented brother. He's a dope MC for the love of hip-hop. I work with the brother, and we build our relationship. That's where it starts, and that's where it's in. I have one social security number. I, have, I always had one DIN number when I was in prison. I can only speak for Shaheen. No other grown man on the planet. You know what I'm saying? Period. I'm the type of brother, if I'm with you and the situation happens, we going all out. But I'm not getting up out my bed to go handle other niggas. Respectfully. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Now, no. what's up? We can build. If you want to build, because it seems like after this whole Mav Hopper interview, you have a bunch of people that's trying to, and not saying it's you, try to fabricate stories, make up stories to get headlines, to get a few thousand views, right? Which get a couple hundred bucks. It's not worth my freedom or anyone else's life for that matter, for a few dollars, bro. So I'm just saying, if you don't have personal, like, like, I just feel like, that's why I don't do journalism, right? Because I hate for people to, for a person to tell me like, yo, mind your business. How does it affect your life? If it doesn't affect your life and it's not your business, you know, respectfully, so up. You feel what I'm saying? That's not towards you or anybody, but that's how I look at it. That's why I'm not a YouTuber. I have the rugged road to recovery, but it's a retreat. It's about wellness. I've been through too much in my life, bro. I lost my mother to an OD. I lost family. I've been in prison. I didn't kill somebody. I didn't. I've been through ups and downs and everything. I don't have time for it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Respectfully. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there. You see me in my room. I'm chilling in my crib. I'm watching your show because I watch it. So I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, oh, me? What's the I got to do it? I, that, yo, just let me say, man, uh, that's how it actually started, you know, with somebody being like mentioning you in the chat. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I would be feel blessed to have Shaheem come on the show. Are you kidding me? But, you know, you're doing an album now with Jay hood You guys have released material and you're sitting there right behind, beside Jay Hood on the Math Hoffa show. How does it feel to you? You know what I mean? Seeing Styles P respond to that. I'm not sure. If well, you again, again, yet. again, I have nothing to do with it. I have I have a relationship with Styles and Kiss and, and Sheik as well as Hood when everything was all good. So if things go bad between brothers I'm, I'm, or, or people that was crew that I met together, what I'm supposed to stop? I, I'm not, I'm not catty. I, I don't pick sides, man. The truth is the truth and whoever's, whatever's the truth, they know it. I don't know it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot of things from that interview, I was a spectator just like everybody else in the chair. You know what I'm saying? Watching Hood tell his, his truth, how he believes it's his truth. You know what I'm saying? 
only people to know the truth is them, them, and 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 the universe. Yeah, I, I feel you on that, you know man. What I'm saying man. respect was like I don't know, like I don't know, bro. I, I ain't get none of the money. I I ain't do none of that. Like I don't have listen. And 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 so if if you do music with somebody, right? What does that have to do with anything? So that means, yo, it's. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's whatever, bro. Let's, let's talk about some positive. I just wanted you to know that I just felt that that was unfair to me. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to and, and then to do it in a manner of throwing a other dude situation, what was like a, like, like, like a bad taste. Because let's be for real, I ain't never been a flunky. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been a yeah. Wu Sang flunky or no flunky. You, you know what I'm saying? When you seen Shaheen with Wu Sang Clan, they said my little brother. It never was my roadie or do we help, you know what I'm saying, put on. That ain't never happened. So I ain't had a record deal in 1992 on Virgin Records before Wu-Sang Clan came out. So if people know history, then you then they wouldn't even say no stupid shit like that because they would know. And them is my brothers. You know what I'm saying? And we from SI, and that's what it is. I, I don't, look, man, that's just really it, G. You know what I'm saying? That's just well, really it, respectfully. Well, Shop, for those who don't know, could you go into that a little bit? I mean, I'm glad to have you here on the channel. You know, it's always been, uh, you know, one of my bucket lists to get you on the channel, to be honest with you, with the the voice that you have for the community, man. Could you explain how the two of you, uh, you know, you merged with Wu-Tang, how you got down with the group for everybody that doesn't know? See, see there you go, right? The group. You turn it into a group. I'm Wu Tang without music. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Staten Island, I'm from Stapleton Projects. That is Wu Tang. You feel what I'm saying? Staten Island, we are Wu Tang, not just Thanks. the rappers. Not just the rappers. You know what I'm saying? So, my personal wizard is a mentor. Ninth Prince is my, me and Ninth Prince was in second grade together before there was even a such thing as records and things. So, that's family. Whether I rap, whether I do whatever, that that's that's something else, bro. You know what I'm saying? This this is not, you know, it's not an industry thing with us. So, you know, that's kind of crazy uh how you popped into the live tonight. I kind of wanna ask you, you know, after everything happened with Nor or first and foremost, man, let me apologize for repeating what Nori said and then apologize for himself or changed himself well you should apologize um, to nori too because you know well, what I'm nori, yeah nori's the big bro and uh so to repeat his words like that you know his words that he would later change i do apologize you know this is the culture that we all love and i would not want your position in this game your impact on this game to be misconstrued so you know that's why i do apologize um you know not really knowing that you were a watcher of the show um, I got to say, it's great that you tuned in to clear it up tonight. I'm glad we could clear it up tonight rather than sitting on it for a whole nother 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really into that, man. And again, like, um, nobody's exempt from mistakes. So I don't hold nothing against you, bro. You know what I'm saying? If, if I say, I forgive you, I forgive you. It's, it's, it's water under the bridge. Right. But it's just, we just got to be careful, man, what we say sometimes because it could it could be hurtful to somebody. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I get it. If if, if you stand, if, 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 if it's war going on, right. And, and it's a war, but I get that everybody gets shot in the war. Right. But this is hip hop and this is industry. If you're going to do that, then you got to do that to every rapper that goes to parties and, and take pictures and do all this shit on the red carpet with other rappers that don't like other rap. Like this shit, this, this, this thing that got cat, this shit turned into not what I grew up hip hop being. It's just like anybody with a camera get to say a voice and get to say something and the world takes it as law. Like it's true. Show your evidence. If you're saying somebody is something, if you're saying a person is this, is that, show your evidence, not just your words. So, you know what I'm saying? If I'm a flunky, show and prove that I'm a flunky. You know what I'm saying? If I'm anything, show and prove. Bring your evidence. You know what I'm saying? And, and I would tell you respectfully, 
my one question I ask everybody when it has something to do with me, how does it affect your life? If you tell me it doesn't affect your life, right? Then my next question is, mind your business. Simple. Thanks, man. So where I was going with that, you know, like when everything popped off with Nori making that statement, and was it really the internet, all the internet reaction that pushed them to reaching out to you to come on Drink Champs? Could you explain that to me, how it worked? Um, well, um, well, it, it, it happened just like it happened with us. Yeah, that's how kind of I was kind of thinking, which made me think I don't, about listen, that. gee, listen, look, if I'm wrong, I'm the first to be like, yo, my bad, I was wrong. But I was minding my business then. I'm fresh out of prison. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting my real life together. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even interested in the music industry, period. Anybody that knows me. You know what I'm saying? They know I do my social work. I do my recovery retreats. And that's what I'm really on. That's my focus. Every day I wake up, that's what I do. I keep people out of prison. I keep people off of drugs. I talk to them. I'm a, I'm a counselor. I'm, a, I'm a, a recovery coach, bro. Like, this is for real. You know what I mean? Because when I got in them prison and I seen kids 16 and 17 years old under the conditions that they under, you think it's bad out here? Go behind them walls where people are getting killed at and stomped and beat up and 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 you know what I'm saying? If you see what's happening out here, that this is this is the macro or the micro. So that's just it, man. You know what I'm saying? But um yeah, it was one of those things, you know, and 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 honestly, when 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 I'm I I I uh me and Nori was able to sit down and talk and look each other in his eyes and you know, we had we had our conversation that wasn't for the for the internet and I believed him and I respect him and I forgive him. It's over. So now it's just like, damn, like I just felt like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like that that's like a soft spot for everybody cuz it could have went it could have got bad. You know what I'm saying? And and sometimes if you don't attack it head on, right? You leave room and space for all the people that try to benefit, right? Of two people, right? And and it's it's a separation that happens. You got one person here, one person here, and everybody in the middle trying to benefit, right? Feeding this person, feeding this person, right? But as soon as those two people come together and they have a conversation, you will hear some of the illest things. Because people are two facing, people play both sides, bro. So the same people that be in your ear saying, "Yo, yo, this person," they trust me. They in the other person ear telling them the same thing for their benefit. So that's why it's important if you feel disrespected or you have a misunderstanding with somebody, you you attack it. Then you don't wait. You don't you don't let things. You know what I'm saying? Build up. You you and you start telling yourself things. You know what I'm saying? And and then next thing you know. You're taking it personal. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was just like, you know what? Let me reach out to him. Let me get his phone number. You know, it's a small world. It don't take much. I Listen, I've been in the business for a very long time. I watched a lot of dudes become famous when they was nobodies. So understand that when you're dealing with Shaheen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been around a very long time. And, and, and I got a love for a lot of people. And they got it for me, too. So... You know, I just said, you know what, let me let me let me be a man and, and reach out to this brother and just tell him like, yo, you know, what I mean, just try to see it from my perspective. That's all. And you was a man about it. And you seen where, you know, where you was wrong and you apologize. So we didn't get off that subject. You know what I'm saying?